The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the March 30th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. We need to make that one little two by four shift it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check out the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. More important than that. And that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on it at 877-927-6648. And if you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. You can always let those fingers do the walking. That means go ahead and send me an email. Send it to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, and aside our Tigers. Then will any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, you got all U.S. indices trading to the downside. Dow's off 95. S&P's down 22. NASDAQ 164. Russell's off 17. Semi's down 54. Trend is off 184. The largest percentage mover is the semis, down 1.5%. To the upside, you've got uh, gold up 21 bucks. 1938 is its print. Silver's up uh, 42 pennies. 25.16 is what it is printing. Lights we crude up 271. 106.95 is the last uh, trade. Natural gas is up 19 cents. It's nearly 4 percent. 552 there. And a 30-year treasury is up 21 ticks. 149.19 is the print. Now lead the charge dollar-wise to the upside. You've got Lululemon 40 bucks, 11 percent. Uh, Aberdeen Standard Palladium is up uh, 5 percent or 11 bucks. Bionitech is up nine uh, and change that's nearly six percent crowd strike seven that's three percent so the downside it's restoration hardware off 46 bucks 12 percent amazon down 39 or one percent booking holdings 34 one and a half percent mercado libre off 27 bucks two percent shopify down 25 that's about three and a half percent we did have a couple of requests uh why don't we get to uh, those right away now we'll just simply go into the general markets we have one request one from yesterday that i didn't pick up on so let's go take a look at those and the first request was to take well actually there's three requests one is tesla uh, somebody want to take a look at the XLY. Joey, you want to take a look at the XLY? And uh, Hector and Patty, we didn't get to their request yesterday to take a look at the XLF. So let's get all three of those in, then we'll get to the markets out here. So we we'll take a look at Tesla. Tesla trading above the top of its daily, weekly, and monthly profiles out there. So all of that looks good. That means we need to go switch over to our other set of uh, charts out here and see if there's any kind of uh, topping signals or anything that Dan from Boston needs to be aware of. So we begin by taking a, let's see, did that work? Yeah, that worked. Okay. So now, what do we know? So on a monthly basis, Dan, you've got price trading above the green oscillator and change line. So it's neutral because it has a confirmed road's momentum indicator top. Neutral to bullish is what we would say, or what I would say. Same kind of pattern set up inside the weekly, above the profile, which we discussed, above the green oscillator and change line. It's got a road's momentum indicator signal, so really kind of neutral to bullish. Price should move higher. Go test those highs. However, the confirmation of that, Dan, will come from the daily time frame chart. And so on a daily time frame chart, much like the indices out here, or many of the indices, not all of them, Tesla formed a TD9 count top. It completed that pattern yesterday. Did that on the bar following bar number nine. Now, the cool aspect about that, we know where the high is at. And what we know is that if there's a close above that high, not a test of the high, not a spike of the high, but a close of the high, which is 11.14.77, then, Dan, that'll give you the signal that price is going to make its way back to the highs. The oscillator and change line here has changed colors. So that really should signal to us that price and that line should catch up to each other. Now, we don't know if it's going to be a sideways movement. 
while that oscillator and change line rises, where the price is going to pull back, uh, as well as the oscillator and change line rising. We just don't know what combination there is. But the combination that's present or the pattern that's present right now suggests that that's what the move should be. Well, if that's the case, we should see some topping signals on the intraday charts out here. Well, under 95 minute chart, uh, not so much, not yet. Uh, the the 130 minute time frame chart, no topping signal yet. It has a possibility to form a TD9 count, but it still hasn't taken out the higher high of this pattern, which is bar number five, and that high out there is 11.1477. So price does have to spike above that to get that. However, the 65 minute chart does have a TD9 count top. So that's really the one to take a look at and follow. And uh, right now, price would need to close below 10.6583 to give you a signal that there's a chink in its armor out there. And that chink could take it back to the 9.98 level. That's the breakout level of the 65 minute minute chart and 986 happens to be the TD9 count daily oscillator and change line so I would watch a 65 minute chart for uh, signals out here but otherwise it's uh, similar to the general market so in fact as long as I'm here on this screen I'll just change over we'll go take a look at the NQ right now and as we take a look at the NQ as soon as I can find it out here, what we're going to see is basically something similar. And the similar is, if you look at the daily time frame, a TD9 count. If you look at the weekly chart, so Tesla's stronger on the monthly basis than the NQ, because on the monthly basis here for the NQ, price is below that oscillator change line. In the case of Tesla, stronger than the NQ because price was above its monthly green oscillator and change line. The weekly here, price is above that. And that's what gives me the strongest period of pause with regard to this TD9 count topping signal that we have. And the reason is, is because because from an intermediate term standpoint, using the monthly or the weekly time frame chart, price really should have found resistance if this was just a counter trend rally. And not that it still can't be, but basically the, the ideal setup, the ideal setup would have been price stopping at that oscillator and change line as it did last week. Now, the week is not over. It's only 1.13 in the afternoon. And so we can't really totally make the call, uh, but we're going to communicate to you what it's communicating to us right now. But if price did close back below that 14.807-ish level out there, come Friday afternoon, boy, that would be a big tell. Right now, we don't have that tell. And uh, we don't have anything that's really broken down on a 30-minute chart, uh, not any big signals there. 60-minute chart, no real key levels of support breaking. So um, it looks like, it, unless something, some news event uh, takes place here in the next uh, couple of hours, maybe it's something that occurs overnight that sets off these TD9 count patterns that we've got in the NQ, the ES Mini, and several of the indices out there. But it is the weekly charts out here that give uh, Stevie pause because if I was just going to make our call from an intermediate term standpoint as to what the NQ is going to do and I was just using a weekly chart, what I would be telling to you right now is that the NQ wants to continue higher. We don't do that because we're not ignoring the daily signal that's out there. So that gives you a general idea of the um, markets overall. Let's go back now. We just have a few seconds here. Let me get back to the uh, tab if I can find it real quickly. And uh, we did have a request to take a look inside the Tiger's Den here. That was the uh, XLY, I believe. I hope I've got that right. Let me come back and see where was that put in here. XLY. That was for Joey D. So let's let this populate here, Joey. What I'll do is I'll leave the XLY on the screen here. You're in the Tiger's Den. And hey, folks, everybody should join the Tiger's Den. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com. You can sign up for a buck, one dollar, Mortimer, for a full year. So uh, we'll leave these charts up. You'll get to take a you'll get to take a look at it. Enjoy. Maybe in your mind, you can tell me what is it that Stevie's going to say about the XLY. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019 finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com.
TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking a look at the XOY. That is the consumer discretionary sector. And um, I think the question was just to take a look at it. So when we do look at the XOY, it looks different than the NQ that we looked at. looks different than Tesla. And what I mean by that is if we take a look at the daily time frame, that's what we've got up on the chart. First of all, this bottoms with wave number seven. That is letter G and a Rosemontum indicator signal. That was on February 24th. Now, I'll just make an observation here. It is kind of interesting. Uh, what else happened on February 24th? Does anybody out there know that? Inside the Tiger's Den, what else took place on February 24th when basically the U.S. stock markets, most of the indices, made a bottom? Does anybody know? Somebody out there has got to know. What took place on February 24th out there of significance? Of significance, and yet our U.S. stock market here has a bottom. Absolutely, Flip. That was the date that Russia invaded Ukraine. And that was the, no, not my birthday, Duffy, but thanks for asking. Um, uh, we got to wait for September for that one. Uh, but uh, so in any event, on that day here, with regard to the XOY, you've got two bottoming signals. Does two bottoming signals mean it's stronger than one? No, it does not. At least that's not what I've been able to determine just yet. But in any event out here, uh, what we had is we had a TD9 count pattern, uh, went ahead and topped on the trading day of March 23rd. Right as, uh, Joey, right as price was moving right into its bearish structure daily profile. So just clearing that is a very bullish outcome. And that's what took place three days ago on March the 28th, on Monday. Price closed above that and negated the TD9 count. It closed above. There's nothing more bullish than a failed bearish pattern. Well, here you got the failed bearish pattern of the TD9 count, plus combined with the bearish structured profile. So sellers were unable to uh, deal with the momentum of buyers. In fact, the volume on this trading day, even though you can't see it here on the white background chart, exceeds the volume of that TD9 count high, that swing point out there. Now, many might say that that forms an A to B equals CD to the upside. I'm not in that camp. And the reason I'm not in that camp is because the retracement was only 18%. Doesn't mean that price won't go higher out here, but we don't need the A to B equals CD pattern in order to help us gauge where price is likely targeting, unless there's some other topping pattern that forms between uh, now and then. And the target out here should be 209.39. 
Now, here's the deal. If the S&P and the, and obviously this is one of the sectors inside the S&P, this should hold up the best uh, of a, or one of the sectors that should hold up well, just simply based upon these patterns. If the move lower, let's say there is a move lower, we have the tops out there, the ES, the NQ, um, and if there is a move lower, you got the oscillator and change line here that has changed colors, where price should find support, and this is where you'd want to be a buyer, a potential buyer of the XLY, would be at 184.11. It could be at 186.62, but typically it would be at 184.11. That's the center of that uh, bearish structured profile out here. The only thing to suggest that price might pull back is that uh, change in color on the OUL and the other indices. Otherwise, the signal here for the XLY for its daily time frame is to head higher. Now, what do the other time frames tell us about the XLY? Weekly, above the top of its profile, that was also a bear structured profile. Does week, doesn't end until Friday out here, but right now it's looking pretty good. On the monthly chart, the resistance level is 195.16. That's basically where the top of the profile is at, which is really 192.22 and the uh, oscillator and change line. No topping signal on the 195. You've got a TD9 count on the 130, but price is holding support. Green oscillator and change line. 65 minute has a TD9 count uh, top, but price holding support. So, so far, support is held on this. But, you know, the XOI, the consumer discretionary will just simply be it's a, it's a small waiting uh, or small, you know, it's not. It's not one of the large weightings inside the S and P 500. So it's going to be subject to what the larger S and P is likely going to do. But otherwise, so that's what the XLY looks like. There was some questions here to take a look at. Let's see here, because it can get away from me pretty quick inside this little chat room out here. And where was one? One I think was to take a look at Apple. And was there anything else? No, it was the XLY. And then I think the last thing inside the den was to take a look at Apple. So let me punch that uh, chart up on the screen here. Let's go see what this is doing. My recollection is Apple on a daily basis has a TD9 count top as well. So coincides with what we're looking at inside the uh, markets. Just waiting for these charts here to uh, populate. And there we go. So as we take a look at the uh, daily time frame of the XLY, you'll see yesterday was its TD9 count up again. The beauty of that is if there's a close above yesterday's high, that high, by the way, is uh, 179.01, then we would see price get back to its all-time highs, and that's in the 183-ish range out there. So you want to watch that. Green oscillator, and or red oscillator and change line changes colors, topping pattern. You know the game plan. You know the, the uh, rules here. Basically, we should see price and that line catch up to each other. That's a daily time frame for Apple. What do we have here for the larger time frame? Well, on the weekly basis, price right now is above the top of a new profile that is forming this week. That says it wants to move higher. Uh, you've got a TD9 count top on the monthly, but price above that green oscillator and change line. That says it wants to move higher. So the, uh, the real key here is uh, the daily chart. With regard to the intraday time frame charts, the only topping, well, there's a topping pattern for the 65 and for the 30 minute chart, but no levels of support breaking. The key level, I'd say, inside of Apple. If the market is going to crack or croak, uh, then you would see Apple close below 174.15. If you get that, then that's going to really, really be the signal moving to the 170.14 level. Now, that number, don't use that to be exact. That's the oscillator and change line on the uh, daily time frame. You can use 174.15 uh, because that was the TD9 count breakout level for the 65-minute chart. So that's what the uh, charts for Apple look like out there. Did I get to everything? I believe that I have. We got to XLY. And Duffy, thanks for posting the holdings inside there. Amazon, Tesla, Home Depot, McDonald's, Nike, Lowe's, uh, Target, Starbucks, Booking Holdings, and TJ Maxx making up the uh, top entities out there. And it uh, looks like that's 23, 44, 51, 48. I mean, that's uh, 60, 70 percent of, the, uh, of, of them. And, and the reason that he posted that there uh, was simply to say, hey, you really should look at what's going on underneath the covers. And, and certainly the top, you know, I'd say the top eight or ten uh, charts are the top eight or ten holdings with inside there to really get a feel for what the XL or what the XLY is doing. Uh, request here. Let's see. There's a request, a private request. I see that. Uh, Steve, please uh, show charts on F. FTRI. So let's go ahead and put up FTRI. That is, as John says, ETF holds large stakes in BHP, Rio, and Valley. 
Uh, so our pleasure to do that for you, uh, John. So let's just give this a moment to populate. And then, okay, and then we've got a request also to take a look at Rivian. So uh, very cool. So we're just, uh, you know, you guys are just learning how to navigate this new uh, Discord uh, tool out here. So when we take a look at FTRI, what our signals here show, and I'm just going to quickly go to, so on the monthly time frame, John, uh, this is bullish. Uh, price is above the prior swing point. There's no topping signal. If anything, there's an A to B equals CD to the upside up here. If we look at the weekly chart, I'm just going to expand this out. On the weekly time frame, you know, quite a way. This had a TD9 count top that got negated in, uh, in basically one day. That was the uh, February 11th. So this is a strong momentum move to the upside, John. We take a look at the uh, weekly time frame chart. So the monthly and weekly look very good. What's the daily chart telling us? The daily chart shows us what? Shows us that it negated a uh, wave number seven. That's letter G out there. Um, price today, if price closes above today, the high from March 25th, that high is 1661. Uh, at 1663 the daily roadsman to indicator top will get negated but even if it doesn't its signal is neutral to bullish out here so the daily the weekly and the monthly for ticker symbol ftri all suggest higher price john i hope that helps you all we come back from this break we're going to go take a look at uh rivian r-i-v-n Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, ticker symbol RIV, and that's for Rivian, and it's up on our screen out here, and it definitely has bottomed. Uh, it formed a, a weekly roads momentum indicator signal a couple weeks ago. We'll put this up on our chart. Now, there's not enough data to generate any kind of market profiles, so we don't have those. But you can see the roads momentum indicator signal on a, a weekly time frame. So that uh, says, oh, let's go take a look at the daily time frame. The, the daily time frame confirmed that bottom, and it did. Roads momentum indicator and TD9 count on March the 15th. Price is above its daily profile, so price should now go target 59.14. If pricing closes above 59.14, the TD9 count breakdown level, this is going to give us a change in trend signal. That change in, change in trend signal to the upside would then suggest to move to the 66.54 level. You got a short-term topping signal on the 65-minute, and it looks like the 35 or the 30-minute chart is going to give us that. Uh, well, we just started. Oh, we did. Oh, it gave us that at 130. Okay. So you've got two topping signals out here, but that might just be price pulling back to test support areas. Uh, and the support area here would be looking at 52.95. Below that would be $50.13. But on a bigger picture, if you're asking, did Rivian form a bottom? The answer there is yes. Would I buy into it now? Probably not. It's too close to resistance, that 59.14 area, with price being at 54.36 uh, out there. But it should get to that 59.14 area. So I do hope that helps you out. The next question. Uh, well, let's go take a look at XLF uh, for Patty and uh, Hector. Uh, hopefully they're listening in or maybe listen to the archive. And I believe it was the XLF that they had written in about that I didn't get to yesterday. It was late in the uh, show. So let's see if we can get this here to uh, populate. So on a monthly basis for the XLF, what do we know? You've got a, uh, a Rhodes Mintum indicator top out here. But price above that green oscillator and change line and above the top of its profile. So Hector, the neutral for the, the signal for the monthly time frame, neutral. Neutral to bullish. The weekly chart has a Rhodes Mintum indicator top, but here it is uh, still bearish because price has found resistance at the 39.64 level. That's the green oscillator and change line. On a daily time frame, uh, as this was forming a bottom, was there a bottom pattern that we can see out here? And the answer is no. Doesn't mean that it didn't bottom, just means I don't have one. Now, price is back inside the daily profile. And uh, the oscillator and change on it changed color. So price should go target at 38.67 level. That's what you're looking at or looking for. You'd like to see a test and rejection of that green oscillator and change line. That would be the next potential buy point. At the same time that's occurring, occurring you'd like to see some type of short-term bottoming signal. We don't have a short-term bottoming signal right just yet. However, the XLF on a 30-minute basis is forming a sin bar 8 right now. So it could form a bottom at around the 39.06 level. It's breakout level. Again, this is bar number eight that it's forming. Bar number nine will be complete by uh, 2.30. So by 3 o'clock, if the XLF is going to bottom and have a little bit of a bounce, um, that would be the pattern that you'd be uh, looking at for it. Again, that's the XLF, the 30-minute. could be a TD9 count bottom out there. Uh, but otherwise, it looks like larger term, larger term, or not larger term, Longer than the 30-minute time frame chart, price should go target that daily oscillator and change line. So, Hector and Patty, thanks so much for waiting. I do hope that that uh, helps you out if that is, in fact, what you were looking for. The next question here coming in from uh, Dan F. And Dan says, uh, looking for an entry into CMC. So let's go ahead and get CMC fired up here. CMC is what? CMC. Let me look at some other charts here. That is commercial metals. And your question was, Dan, uh, looking for an entry point into CMC. So it's got a new daily profile that uh, formed today. It's bullish in structure. And the uh, the uh, uh, the uh, the target area or the buy area potentially is between 39.84 and 40.30.71. That is the bullish structured level of the daily profile. On a monthly basis, no topping signal. In fact, it negated any kind of topping signal suggests price should move higher. The weekly price should move higher. It's above its oscillator and change line and the top of its weekly and the top of its weekly profile. The daily time frame out here for CMC. Do we have any kind of a topping signal? So the answer is no. I don't have a bearish reversal candle even to confirm an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. But nonetheless, uh, watch for the support area. You're looking for an entry, 39.84, 40.30.71. 30, and ideally, you'd see some type of bottoming pattern on one of the shorter-term time frame charts. 30 minutes, 65 minutes, maybe 130 or so out there. So that's what I'd be waiting for. Be patient. You might get there uh, relatively quick. But the uh, daily and the weekly charts here for CMC, Dan, look very good. Thanks so much for writing in. Next question coming in from, uh, looks like, uh, Jeff near Philly. And please take a look at BGFV. BGFV. Not familiar with that one. 
Not that I'm familiar with all of them. Uh, I just don't recall seeing that signal. So let's go to BGFV and uh, see what this actually is. Big Five Sporting Goods Corp. And the question is, please take a look at the stock you got long yesterday. Uh-oh. So it's pulling back today. We need to go figure out what it's doing. So yesterday, what it did here, uh, Jeff, was it got right up, and it did close above the TD9 count breakout level of 1907. But you know the game plan. We need to see two consecutive closes in order to confirm a breakout. So that being said, what price is likely going to do is pull back to the 1695-1721 area. On a monthly basis, out here, uh, price is trading into the support area of its bullish structured profile between 1075 and 1375. I don't have, I've got a topping pattern on the uh, weekly. I don't have a bottoming signal on the uh, weekly chart. And that says that longer term, price could be pulling back to 916. So be careful uh, because the weekly chart, well, the weekly chart actually has a consolidate, it's, it's a new profile out here, and price right now is consolidating within it. So watch 1488 to the downside and uh, 1961 to the upside. What else can I see here? Not much. So it just looks like price wants to move lower for this instrument. And that, that lower should be in the 1694 to 1721 level. So, Jeff, I hope that that helps you out. Thanks so much for taking the time to write in. Michael P. wants to take a look at, hello, Steve, how does PBR look? Paps Blue Ribbon. So let's go take a look at PBR, which is not Paps Blue Ribbon. And because uh, I'm sure that uh, uh, Michael P. doesn't drink Paps Blue Ribbon, but he does drink uh, Petrolio Brasileiro Petrobras. You know, I totally screwed that up, but uh, it is what it is. Now, what is uh, PBR actually doing out here? So what you can't see is the uh, descending trend line and rising trend line. First of all, I'll, go to, I'll show you those momentarily. The monthly chart looks bullish. Price should move to 1684. The weekly chart looks bullish, but price is consolidating with inside its weekly profile. Needs a close here, Michael P. above 1468. That's what you're looking for. The daily time frame chart doesn't have a topping signal, but there's a descending trend line that price ran into. I'll show you that momentarily. The 195 minute chart has a Rhodes Mentum indicator signal. Key level of support there is 1371. Don't know that price is going to get back there. Your question is. Uh, how does PBR look as an investment? Do you see an entry? You're already in or maybe some of the holdings. I don't know. You've, you've listed those. I can't go through all of those. Uh, so uh, I would. Well, here's what I would do. You're up towards resistance on that weekly chart. You're really kind of neutral there. <laughs> um, wow. You know, I'd rather you buy this on some type of retracement, and that retracement would be... 1445 to 1435, 1435, 1445. And where I'm going with that is a 30-minute chart. That would be the bullish structured profile area out here. Um, but I don't have anything right now, Michael, that says the price is going to get back down there. So as I look at these charts, and that's why I was pausing a bit, I don't have any signals here to really suggest that this thing's going to go lower. If there was any signal to go lower, maybe it's from the 15-minute chart. And I would say 1450. 1450 would be the area. Mike P., thanks so much for writing in, and I hope that that helps you out. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Pedro Heights Investment Newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back up, folks. Let's go to Peter in Park City. Peter, thanks for calling. Thanks so much for holding. How are you today? Uh, great, Steve. Uh, I had a question for you, and this may be beyond, like, obvious. Um, on the NYSC oscillator, uh, we put in highs back in January, I believe, and then uh, we are above the 150 again just recently. Um, yet the market is making significantly lower, you know, a lower high than it did back then. It, can we garner anything from that? Um, uh, going all the way know, back to January, it just we're just weaker. <laughs> so I I wouldn't you so the the I, I I wouldn't go back and use the January data and take a look at, because actually we made a higher high on that advanced decline oscillator reading just a few days ago back on the um, 18th of March, and that reading was much higher than the ones that you were looking at in January. So you know that's that's no, really not. That that's my question, though. Ah, basically, okay, it. is is there a kind of a negative divergence within that itself? Can we read anything from that or no? I just when I saw your chart before with the oscillator yeah. unchanged, I just, I just happened to notice that you know we're kind of basically up at the same levels, yet the market's sure. not near the same level. I I don't know. I I don't. Uh, I haven't done a a enough. Re I haven't done any research on that. To, to make that determination. So I understand exactly what you're saying. And what he's saying, folks, here is, look, we have a negative divergence. The advanced client oscillator are making higher highs. Uh, so in, and price is making lower highs out there. Does that mean anything? So I, I've got enough tools to really interpret what it means right now. And there still is a little, there's a divergence, a small divergence. You know, on a closing basis, the advanced client oscillator peaked on March 18th with 223.24 is reading. And then yesterday, uh, we got up to 213.21. So you still have declining tops there with rising price. Uh, that combined with, oh, I've got the wrong page up. My apology. Give me a moment here. Sorry about that, Peter and everybody else. They were kind of like saying, what are you talking about, Steve-O? So here's what I'm talking <laughs> about. Here's the chart that uh, Peter and I are discussing. And so here, what he was talking about is this June area where my curse is at in this panel area. And here he said, hey, look, we've got a higher high out there. So this has been rising. In essence, if we were to draw a trend line, our price has been declining. And a question there is, and I suppose then the assumption would be, if that's a negative divergence, that should lead to higher prices. Is, is that basically what your, your thought process is? No, I'm thinking that the prices will come down, and it's like we've just we've gotten to a point where 
Um, basically, we've gotten, let's see, I'm, now I'm looking. Okay, there we go. Oh, actually, that is interesting from just Monday, the change yeah. now that I see the chart. Yeah, but if we take a look at just the current information, the current information says we still have a divergent pattern with a lower high in the advanced client oscillator, higher high in price. And then mm -hmm. we switch from this chart here to the white chart that I believe that I was showing before, and that's the actual chart for the New York Stock Exchange. And when you get that divergence, folks, what we like to see is some kind of topping pattern. Well, in fact, yesterday was the TD9 count top for the New York Stock Exchange. As long as price did not close above yesterday's high, this suggests that it, the New York Stock Exchange, should pull back to 16.577. So the divergence uh, is suggesting, and the pattern, uh, the T9 count pattern is suggesting that pullback. Now, if price just gets back and tests and rejects that green oscillator and change line, that's actually a bullish signal for the market. And if we go back to the advanced decline oscillator, its signal is actually bullish for the market longer term, not short term, with the, uh, oops, shoot, didn't mean to do that. Um, Sorry about this. See, I, I'm not able to multitask that well. It's amazing. I'm actually can able. I'm actually able to talk and look at a screen at the same time out here. But because we got to higher, because we got above the plus 150 level, just getting above plus 150 typically means over time, in the future, we're going to see higher. We're going to see higher prices than than where that advanced decline oscillator high occurred. And so this this suggests that we should see higher price out there. That's the reading of it of the advanced decline oscillator. All did right, I, I appreciate did I it. I just wanted some clarification there if there was anything to be read from it. Yeah. So I your specific your question, time. your yeah, your specific question, I, I I don't have. I've never done a study to be able to answer that. But maybe maybe you could do that for me. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. All right. All hey, right. Thanks, Steve. Have a great day. You too. And thanks so much for calling and for holding. Uh, the last question, not the last go, we got a few minutes here. The next question that has come in is from uh, Jack. Is it Jack? Yeah, it is Jack. So Jack writes, this is fairly long. Uh, uh, let me see what's up on my screen out here. I've got the black background screen. So let me just switch over here for a moment as I start reading. So Jack says, uh, good day, sir. He must be talking about my dad, because my dad would be sir, not Stevie. Uh, just starting, just trying to learn basics. Been listening to your show for the past two weeks. think it's great. My good friend Greg in New Hampshire told me I should make sure I listen to you. Wow, Greg's a good guy. My question, probably too elementary for your listeners. Nah, there's no question that's too elementary for any of us. So um, no worries of no time. No, we're going to make the time. I need to do a lot more. Okay. Uh, how, how many stocks should I attempt to watch for trends? as a novice um well that's a good question i think what you what you're going to do is you're really going to start off well let me just switch over to boy you know so as a novice if, if look if, i'll tell you exactly if, if you're a novice where you're going to start i'm just going to give you the uh give me, give me a moment here i'm going to switch over to the white background screen and i'm going to switch charts out here uh, even though some people might say, and, and it's beauty when you're a novice here because you're just really learning. So if I was just teaching somebody brand new into this, I would say what you're going to first focus in on are the futures contracts. So that's the first thing you want to be able to get access to if you want to learn technical analysis. And the reason is because the futures are trading 23 plus hours of the day. And what I do, why Greg perhaps told you to uh, watch the show, is I trade patterns there are patterns that repeat over and over and over and over again now that doesn't mean that every pattern works we learn from failure and uh, learning from failure is to most certainly use stops and that means position sizing but with regard to instruments that you're trying to learn and you're trying to understand trends i would focus in on the uh, futures contracts and you want to be able to get access to these short-term time frames uh if you subscribe to different uh, folks here at TFNN, you're going to learn a ton. Uh, in my case, you can subscribe for 29 days and have access to a bunch of videos that will help to educate you. But I would start with the futures contracts because they are the ones that provide us with the most consistent signals out here. Many people will tell you that they're thinly traded overnight. Doesn't matter whether they're thinly traded or not. What we're looking for is price discovery and we're looking for those patterns. Those patterns being the TD9 count. You're seeing here what we're talking about right now 
today is the TD9 count tops that are out inside the ES Mini and the NQ. And inside the Dow, even though it doesn't have a TD9 count, in fact, it negated it. It ran right into resistance where price had broken down. Now, these are not things, these price breakdown areas and breakout levels. These are nothing that I'm pulling out of my you-know-what. They're specific with regard to um, rules. It's all rules-based system out here, and they really work. There's not a single individual with inside of TFNN that I know of, or even inside our den, that would have chosen 35244 as the resting place or the stopping place for the Dow Equity Future contract. Yet, that's what took place yesterday. So that would be the first place that I would start to answer your question. And darn if I didn't just lose your email, but I'll find a way to get it back out here. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Try to uh, see if we can sum up uh, Jack's questions or questions when we get back from this break. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Target First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. About back, folks. Uh, Jack, uh, my apology. I somehow accidentally deleted your email, but I think it should be on my desktop out there. But I, I do believe you were asking about Disney specifically. So I'll just give you the review for Disney. You'll see the uh, chart patterns we take a look at. One's referred to as a TD9 count. When Disney topped out here on a monthly basis, it was March of 2021. It was a TD9 count. When Disney bottomed, it was uh, in uh, January of 2022, or even this month, if we got to a lower, yeah, we did get to a lower low this month here. And so now you have a TD9 count bottom on the monthly 
time frame. Price should go target 160 to 164. The weekly time frame chart generated a road's momentum indicator bottom. It did the week of March 18th. You're inside a new bullish structured profile. As long as price closes above that red line, price should continue higher. 151.68 is the target. That will be the case as long as price is not closed below 137.12. 137.12 is the bottom of its weekly profile. Now, that's above the actual bottom uh, that formed out here, but that would suggest if you close below that that you're going to go retest lows from March 18. You have a TD9 count bottom in Disney here. That completed on the trading session of March 14. Prices moved higher. It's the reason why we're concerned about the NQ and the ES who've got TD9 count tops. You see this pattern repeat over and over again. Now, what uh, Disney did yesterday was confirmed an A to B equals CD to the upside. You can't see that on the white background screen. What I can share with you is the volume yesterday inside of Disney was 11.2 uh, million shares. The swing point that it passed had 8.5 million shares. The swing point is one label with this B. So now there's a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside in Disney. That should take us up to the 150 level. Well, the TD9 count breakout area is at 148.65. So that really becomes its target out there. So I believe that what you were sending to me uh, might have said that uh, people were saying uh, there's all kinds of problems in Disney or what have you. Right now, the charts are saying that it is bottom and that it wants to move higher. So uh, it's not a matter of which stocks do you focus on. It's a matter of learning the patterns out here. That's if you're going to listen to my show and the information I provide to and you want to be able to do the same, which I'd love for you to be able to do the same. It's the reason that I do this show out here. Learn these tools and learn the other tools. Learn the tools of Basil. Listen to the next hour. Your favorite polar bear, David White, is up next. Talbot Brian. He'll teach you all about the ADB equals CD pattern. And I'm Steve Rhodes, and I'll be back with you tomorrow at 1 o'clock sharp. Have a wonderful Wednesday, folks. Thanks so much for joining us.